Ladies and gents, welcome. My name's Wasmatic. Welcome to part two of the Beginner's Guide to Playing Star Citizen. The first uh, episode we looked at how to get out of your bed and get to the star port or the space terminal. Um, it's actually more complicated than you think and sometimes navigating your way here through the labyrinth is can, labyrinth is, can be quite uh, difficult. So we've if you haven't watched that already then there's a link in the top right now you can click on that video go back to that and if you're not sure how to get out of the bed use some of the basic functionality in uh, fps mode that video will help you out and bring you to this point here which is we have our ship and we're in the hangar and we're ready to fly now we've bound a key in the previous video as you might remember to uh requesting um docking that works in reverse as well. You can also ask permission to leave. So press and hold F, get into your seat. And the default key for me to power the ship up is U. So you press U, everything comes on. Now, we want the hangar doors to open. And to be, in order to be able to do that, we need to request permission from the uh, authorities to be able to leave. So I'm going to press my key, which we bound in the first episode, to requesting docking. You are clear to launch. I've been cleared to launch, and the hangar doors will open. Now, you might remember in the first video, we looked at pressing F4 to go to external view. If this is your first time flying, pressing F4 is really handy. The same functionality exists. You can press and hold Z key, D key, and move around. You can press and hold F4 and zoom in and out. OK, basics of flight. You will see in the middle of the screen here there is a slider on the left which is uh, mostly red with a little bit of white at the bottom and uh, it says VEL over the top. Now if I scroll my mouse wheel you'll see that that goes up and down. That's basically the permissible amount of power or speed, velocity that the ship can engage in. So I've put that really low, I put that down to there, the ship won't move if I use any of the controls. Now for taking off I usually put this about here ish i don't want to go too fast but i obviously don't want to crawl out of the the docking bay uh, press and hold f4 here's the basics of flight so to go up you press spacebar to go down you press control and we'll balance that at a reasonable height to go forward you press w go backwards you press s and to strafe left and right a and d so we'll do that once we get out There we go. It's a shame we're in the dark, but never mind. So if I want to strafe now, I can press B. Go right. Straight A. And also we've got a roll function. So Q and E acts as the rolls. This is assuming you're not using joysticks. There we go. So we're out of the hangar, and but we still have our landing gear down. So to get rid of that, I'm going to press N. And it's done. So... Now we want to fly, and we're going to fly to Port Tresler, which is above the planet. This is Port Tresler is basically my home. I tend to live mostly in space stations because they're easier to navigate in and out of. There's no long tram ride to get to your ships, and um, once you're in space, there's no exiting atmosphere. So if you start on Orison, for example, uh, I don't envy you because that has a huge atmosphere. It can take five or six minutes to get into space. So we've previously moved the scroll, the mouse scroll on the speed bar on the left or power bar however you want to call it i'm going to put that up to maximum now there's two ways we can do this we can press w just fly like that but as soon as i take my finger off w the ship's going to stop again okay so uh the game gives you some functionality called cruise control which is essentially it will go at the fastest speed possible that you set so i've set it to the maximum there you can see that little block is up to the maximum so if you press c it's now in cruise control and it's just, I can go hands off the keyboard and I'll just fly. Now what I tend to do when I'm taking off is because the scenery is just so stunning, I'll press the Z key or Z key depending on where you're from and just have a look around at how wonderful these locations are. So there's one other thing that I should mention, which is some ships in the game have a VTOL function, which stands for, if you don't know, Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Now, the VTOL function is easily toggleable, so you toggle it on by pressing K. So if you find yourself coming out of the hangar, 
and your ship doesn't really want to go very fast you can go to the external view and so for example if you're flying a cutlass or a constellation they have a VTOL function so you will see on the constellation for example there will be some uh, flaps that open that, that, and there's some um, VTOL engines that will appear likewise for the cutlass you will see the rear engine swivel and point downwards to let you know that you're in VTOL mode you can toggle that on or off by pressing K now what we're going to do is a very short flight if I just look to the heavens I should be able to see Port Tressler. There we go. So I can fly there. It might take me some time, but we're now going to look at something called quantum travel. So I'm still in atmosphere. It's a bit wonky. Okay, so quantum travel is effectively hyperspace uh, in any other term. So to get to that location quickly, uh, I'm going to just power the engines down a bit, even though I'm still in atmosphere and to use the quantum engines not all ships have quantum engines but most do to use that we're going to press b but before we do that we want to set the location that we're going to quantum travel to and to do that we have to access something called the moby glass now the moby glass is a go-to for everything that you will need to manage in the game and you access that by pressing f1 so there we go that will give you all kinds of information about your character air pressure your oxygen and, and so on and so forth that's my balance it's not a huge amount i'm spending money so these are the menu options down on the bottom left and um, you can do all kinds of things in here which are not for the remit of this video but what we do want to do is use the map so the map is skyline and we are at microtech so if i double click on the planet that will take me to a view of the planet and i use my mouse wheel to scroll in now I warn you, if you haven't used the maps before, they can be a little bit awkward. Sometimes uh, a fellow streamer refers to it as map PvP when you're fighting to actually mark the location. So you can see here we've taken off from New Babbage. We want to go to Port Tressler. So if I click on Port Tressler, it tells me I've selected it here and then you set route. And it looks like it's done nothing, <laughs> which can happen very often, but that's okay. Um, the other way to access that is if you want to go directly to the map, press F2. And that will straight, take you straight to the map. Okay, so we're going to use quantum travel now. So we're going to press B, and that will spin up the quantum system. I actually need to exit the atmosphere before I can use it. And you can see now that the quantum engine has spooled, and we're now calibrating the journey. Once that has ha once that's happened, you press and hold the B key and you will quantum travel so this is a short journey it's not going to take very long but they can sometimes if you're traveling from one side of the system to the other in Stanton it can take quite some time so press and hold B okay and there we are so we can turn the quantum engine off now by pressing B and we're going to fly into Port Trust and you don't want to approach spaces in space too quickly especially in a large ship like this because or a larger ship because sometimes braking can be a problem I believe uh, braking is um, the X key there we go that's that's reverse thrust once we get into distance for request docking we will see a little location a little notification that says uh, speak to ATC to land there we go please contact ATC to land so Going back to the key bind that we've already set, we don't need to do anything, we just press the key bind for requesting docking. Please proceed to assign landing bay. You will hear that, which is the notification that a landing bay has been assigned and it will appear as this arrow in a circle. And that's where we're going to land, so we're going to make our way. And essentially everything you do now to land is the reverse of everything you did to take off. Now I'm actually going to turn cruise control off now. I prefer to approach the locations manually using W and S and A and D and Q and E. Now you can see that we're actually, we're essentially upside down. That's the, well, that's the thing about space, there is no up, there is no down, but we're not going to land on the roof, so Q and E to roll. Just make sure we're in the right location. And then just using W, S, A and D and spacebar and control, you navigate your way towards the, you can see the, the bay doors are opening now. And what we want to do is we want to press N, which will bring the landing gear down. If you remember from when we took off, you press N, landing gear comes down, 
If you're not confident about flying, feel free to use third person view like me now just to make sure that you're not clipping your wings or anything as you land. Now, if you want to be really lazy, once you get over the landing pad, you can actually press and hold N and that will auto land for you. So if you're not feeling that confident, feel free to do that. But I generally just tend to float over and then just press control. Hey presto, we've landed. I might have dinked the nose there. Ooh, it's a bit close. Never mind. Okay, so we've landed. Just like getting out of bed now, you want to press Y. But before we do that, we want to... Now I normally switch all of my engines off. If I'm landing at a location, you can just switch the engines off by pressing I. There. And that will leave your shields and your weapons on. But if you want to switch the power off, which is what I tend to do most of the time when I'm in a, a starport, press U. That switches everything off. And then press Y. Press it once. Or press and hold, sorry. And that will exit the seat. If you have any problems exiting the seat, because it can be a bit glitchy at times, uh, just use the, the menu, press and hold F, and look around, and you might see an option to get up. And then again, using the F context menu, exit your ship. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is as simple as it gets in terms of getting into your ship, taking off, and landing at another location. Once you have exited your ship and made your way to uh, the starport through the lift, you've come to the lobby. And this is someone, what they want, but um, you've made your way to the lobby. It's always advisable to go to the fleet manager screen here, press and hold F. Welcome, welcome to the ASOC, to the ASOC, ASOC retrieval, retrieval system. system. And then what you want to do, if you're staying here for any length of time or you're changing ship, is store your ship. Goodbye. And there you go. It's transferring to storage. And now it's in storage. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's always advisable. If you're not staying here for long, then it's fine to just leave it on the pad. But I tend to always store it anyway, just as uh, just in case it gets auto stored or find or whatever. So I really hope that's been useful, showing you how to get your ship, how to do the basics of flight. Uh, nothing advanced there, like decoupling or anything like that. It's just to get you started flying around in the game. In the next episode, if it helps, I'm going to go through the mobile class system, the types of missions you can take and the types of where you can make money. There's plenty of videos out there about making money in the game, so I'm not going to reproduce all of the different mechanisms and ways that you can do that. But just to show you some of the fundamentals of how to, how to take missions, how to execute them, how to manage your reputation with different organisations. So I really hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.